Hey Aries, Rising Storm here. So I'm about to do your general love reading for the month of September. Keep in mind that these are general readings. Take what applies. Feel free to switch your storylines however you would like, all right? So I'm going to be looking into your overall view, your energies, Aries, the person that you're dealing with, right? Why is it all happening and the possible outcome for now until the end of September? What is going on with Aries and the person that Aries is dealing with here? What's going on? Let's see the overall view between the two of you. You got the chariot in reverse. Some of you may be dealing with the cancer here. Let's see. Well, heavy earth sign, okay? You may be at a distance from this person, or you're not you maybe not communicating with them, but we'll see what's going on here. You can be dealing with the heavy air sign or earth sign, doesn't have to be. Show me the chariot in reverse. What is this chariot in reverse about? So something here is at a halt in regards to communication or in regards to taking some sort of action. So things seem to be kind of stagnant, not moving forward right now at this time. Even though there is this desire here to communicate with that Queen of Wands or there's still this level, maybe a level of passion here. What's this five of cups in reverse for your, your side, Aries? What is this five of cups in reverse? What is this five of cups in reverse? So you're definitely in this energy of trying to get over a situation. So I, I, it's like you're in this energy of getting over a situation or, or acting like you're no longer in your feelings or uh, sad about the whole situation. But then from there, you go back and forth about it. So you may be back and forth about getting over a situation or acting like you're getting over it, but you're really not. Page uh, two, of, two of Pentacles, Five of Cups in Reverse. Uh, you also have the Page of Pentacles here as well. So what is this Page of Pentacles about? What's this Page of Pentacles? Show me the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you're wanting to talk to this person. So it's kind of, it, it's like you are in this energy of going back and forth in regards to getting over a situation, but you really haven't. And it's like you're still looking to communicate with this person. The Sun card, you can be dealing with the Leo. Show me this Page of Pentacles. Show me the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, and the Five of Pentacles. I feel like you feel left out in the cold by this person. You could be missing this person for some of you with that Five of Pentacles there. And for others, maybe there could have been like a ghosting situation. But I'm getting like you're still trying to like... You're still in this energy of wanting to communicate with them, but you're on the fence here in regards to healing when it, or getting over a situation, especially with this person. Okay, so now your person, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse about? What is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse about? For the person that you're dealing with, Aries. <laughs> they're kind of focused on themselves right now, whoever this is. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, they're, they're focusing on themselves. What is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? What is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse here? It's too many. I just need one. What is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse about? Show me. Oh, somebody here may be really all over the place. What's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? What's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse here? I feel like they do see themselves. Okay. So it's like right now, you this person may be kind of like trying to focus on themselves, their business, whatever it is they did, that they do in their life, but they still see a future with you, okay? Or it's like they still see some sort of potential in regards to a relationship here. I, I feel like this is someone who's still very much passionate about you, okay? But it's like they're not showing you right now, or they're, they're not giving you that attention, or they're not really working on things, but it's like they still feel that they could have like this relationship with you or this foundation here with you but it's like they're really not doing anything about it right now they're just focusing on themselves or putting their energy onto themselves they also have the eight of pentacles in reverse so what is this eight of pentacles in reverse about what is this eight of pentacles in reverse about yeah and the knight of and the Knight of Swords. So whoever this is, this is someone right now who's not really putting any energy or work into the connection right now. But at the same time, there's definitely this urge of them wanting to rush towards you. So I, I don't feel like they have forgotten you, okay? I do feel like they're still very much like, you know, in this energy of seeing you as in a relationship or they see themselves in a relationship with you. But it's like they're focusing on themselves right now, even though they're not putting no energy or time or work into this. They they, they feel like they there's this energy of them wanting to rush in 
to talk to you or to communicate with you. So it's like they're going about their own life, okay? But it's like you're in the back of their mind or they think about a relationship with you even though they don't really put the work in. But it's like they want to talk to you at the same time. What? <sighs> Why is it all happening? The four swords. So a lot of contemplating, right? You guys being at a distance from one another. I don't see communication. What is this four swords? What is this four swords for? Why it's all happening? What is this four swords for? Why it's all happening here? Yeah, and the two of swords. So it's kind of like you guys are basically closed off towards one another. <clears throat> you guys are basically closed off towards towards uh, one another. You guys are not in communication. Very indecisive energy for why it's all happening. Okay. So how does Aries... Aries, how do you see this person? Show me. How does Aries see this person? How does Aries see this person here? The Eight of Swords in reverse. Why the Eight of Swords in reverse for what? And the Six of Swords. Dude, I'm telling you, they're... You may feel that they release themselves. Okay, Aries, you may see this person as someone who probably released themselves when it comes to you. Or you think that they're no longer stuck on you. With that Eight of Swords in reverse there. But it's like, I feel like you're struggling whether to let go from this person. So it's like you're struggling here to truly let go of this person. It's like one minute you're detaching yourself, you're letting go. The next minute you go right back to thinking about this person or right back to wanting to come back around to this person. But you see this person as someone that you want them to come back around towards you. You may feel that they are no longer attached or connected or you may feel like maybe they kind of like release themselves when it comes to you here. Okay, so how does this person see Aries, the person that Aries is dealing with? How do they see Aries? How does this person over here see Aries? Show me. The King of Cups. Why the King of Cups here? Why the King of Cups? And the Lovers in Reverse. So it's kind of like, I feel like they see you as someone that they still have a lot of feelings for. I don't know if there could have been multiple people involved for some of you. It doesn't have to be, Okay. But it's like they definitely do recognize the fact that there's some sort of disconnection between the two of you or a decision not being made in regards to communication or in regards to coming together. But it's like they see you as someone that they had some sort of falling out with or some sort of disconnection. But at the same time, it's like they still have feelings for you or they still have this deep emotions for you. With this King of Cups, the lovers in reverse there. Okay, so Aries, what are what are your next actions if not yet already? What are Aries' next actions if not yet already? What are Aries' next actions if not yet already? The Six of Wands in reverse. So it's like, I don't see you giving this person any attention, though. Like, I don't see you feeding this person any attention. What is the Six of Wands in reverse about? What is the Six of Wands in reverse about here? Show me. The moon. Yeah, I don't see you taking much action, if anything. If anything, I feel like you're not really showing this person any attention, any recognition right now. Things seem to be very hidden or very in the dark or very kind of like not expressing. I don't see much action that you're taking here. It's kind of like you're struggling within yourself, but you're this person, it's like you're not letting this person know or you're not showing this person anything here in regards to that. So I don't see you taking much action. You may be dealing with the Pisces here as well. So give me the person that Aries is dealing with. What are their next actions if not yet already? What are their next actions if not yet already? Show me. Knight of Cups in reverse. Why the Knight of Cups in reverse? This person feels like they... I, I don't see them reaching out. If I, it's kind of like both of you guys in a way are mirroring one another in some type of way. So their next actions is to be emotionally distant or emotionally unavailable. Kind of like not really coming in to give you any sort of clarity or so, no, 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 tr no truth here. So it's like they're keeping things to themselves as well. So I don't see them taking any action neither. Um, what are your intentions, Aries? What are Aries' intentions when it comes to this person? What are Aries' intentions when it comes to this person? What are Aries' intentions when it comes to this person here? 
the high priestess in reverse. Why the high priestess in reverse for? So your intentions here is, oh boy. Why the high priestess in reverse? Why the high priestess in reverse here for? I feel like you are at a crossroads because you want to express how you feel towards this person. Like one minute your intentions is to come out of this mysterious energy or this energy of uh, kind of like, you know, no communication. Or it's like you want to come out and express your emotions or your feelings towards this person. But at the same time, what is this Ace of Pentacles in reverse about? What is this Ace of Pentacles in reverse about? So it's like your intentions here is to come together or at least be cordial or work things out with this person. But for some reason, it just doesn't seem to get off the ground with this Ace of Pentacles in reverse here. So I feel like your intentions here is to come together with this person or to express your feelings or come out of hiding, all right, or, or um, have some sort of confession of some sort here. But at the same time, it's like I don't see you taking much action with doing so with this Ace of Pentacles in reverse there. But it's like your intentions is to come out of a uh, silent period or express some sort of emotion here. Or maybe, you know, get on the same page or come together with this person. But it's like for some reason that stability isn't there. And I don't know why. What is this person's intentions with Aries? What is this person's intentions with the zodiac sign of Aries? What are their intentions with Aries here? The hell? The Five of Pentacles? Why the Five of Pentacles? So their intentions here is to leave you out in the cold and kind of block this off. So I don't know if this is someone who's been pushing you away. Alright? So their intentions is to kind of push this away. They're kind of pushing this away. They're leaving this out in the cold. They're not speaking their truth even though they do see themselves in a relationship with you. They're not putting in the work. All right, so what's the potential outcome for now until the end of September when it comes to this situation? What's the potential outcome for now until the end of September when it comes to this? Please show me. The tower, what's the possible outcome here? The judgment, what's the possible outcome? What could happen? And the king of wands in reverse. Why is all this happening? Why is all this happening? Two wands. Somebody here at a crossroads. Clarify this tower here. What What is this tower about? The devil in reverse. I'm seeing... there. It's just, What I'm getting here, the, there is a struggle here in regards to releasing the situation or in regards to some sort of change here. Okay? So there is a struggle here in regards to letting a situation go, right? Or detaching yourself from this connection is what I'm getting. The tower here to the devil in reverse. I'm seeing a struggle. Someone here is having a hard time trying to detach themselves from an ending here that happened between the two of you. Show me the top show me the um the judgment card. Why is this judgment here? Clarify the judgment card. Yeah, someone's making a decision to end this. I don't know if you were dealing with a player here, okay, or there could have been some sort of betrayal that happened. But what I'm getting here is that I do feel like somebody here is going to make a decision to end the situation. I'm getting somebody here making a decision or a final decision to end whatever it is that, that, that's going on between the two of you. But it's like, I feel like you're struggling with this. What is this King of Wands in reverse? Show me the King of Wands in reverse. The person you could have been dealing with could have been a player. You could have been an ending to, the, to a situation where this person seems to be a little bit of a playboy, playgirl, whoever it is, Aries or the person that you're dealing with here. But I do get an ending, okay? Uh, and I feel like there's going to be um, some sort of decision. Why the Two of Wands here? The Two of Wands. Somebody here needs to stand up. What? <coughs> So I'm getting somebody here making a decision for themselves here with the Empress card there. Someone's making a decision for themselves. But at the end of the day, I don't really feel like much communication is going to be had between the two of you. I do feel like there could be potential ending due to some sort of playboy, playgirl. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. All right. But it's like a decision's being made to end the situation. But it's like I see a struggle here in regards to doing so. 
but that's what I'm getting, okay? So if it resonated, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Oh, and God bless. Bye.